Okay, part two, I got interrupted, but I will still uh, continue with this and I would like to show the remaining part. This part, uh, the uh, cable, it is universal with uh, Philips Norelco in pretty much every country except the plug type. So this plug type of course is country specific, but otherwise this, uh, like the way it inserts uh, is the same. Uh, it was the same 10 years ago and it's pretty much the same now. Um, and I'm not sure if it's a universal plug in terms of voltage. I am checking the voltage. Yes, 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz frequency and 2 watts is the uh, what the adapter says on, on top of that. And now let's come to the most important part which is the machine. Now, as you see, there is nothing other than this uh, inside the package. I hope there is going to be a brush and I hope there is going to be a, <laughs> a uh, you know, a cap and I'm wrong. There is nothing. You see? There is absolutely nothing. No uh, brush that is inside the package. And I didn't actually see it in the descriptions either, so I'm checking if I'm missing. No, there's no, uh, there's no brush. Now, it doesn't say that it is going to include it either, so I believe that this is the way it comes. And maybe that's why it's the cheaper or inferior uh, price and unit compared to some others others and uh, yeah it doesn't even come with that so I'm going to check inside but I think there's nothing there either so here is the machine this is the trimmer the classical way of you know it opens there and this I actually do not know how this opens right now <laughs> uh, because uh, there used to be some sort of button there and in the in the 800 version there was another light so here you see there's only one light here and uh, these are the blades, the close cut blades. I guess blade quality can also differ between models. Uh, I just don't know how this is. So um, yeah, and you cannot use it by the way uh, corded. Here is the sign for this. You have to only use it uh, unplugged. And I think it's a security issue with that. Uh, in that, uh, you know, uh, oh. Okay, the cap is different as well. Okay, so the mechanism of the cap, okay, there's not even a button here to pop it up, uh, pop it uh, out. So according to this sign, I have to actually just uh, pull it upwards. So let's see if I can do that. I'm trying right now. Yep. And okay. Yes, so it just came out like that. This is the interior and there is again no brush or something hidden inside. Um, this mechanism, you know, uh, these uh, heads that are uh, going to be rotating uh, is pretty much the same. This locking mechanism is pretty much the uh, same uh, with, I don't know if you can see it, with the uh, Philips Noralco products. But because this is an inferior unit, uh, basically, it there is, in, in my other unit, in even in the super cheap brand um, non Norelco uh, like the cheapest of the cheapest uh, Chinese brand Premier uh, I use uh, it actually pops up like this so there's actually a hinge that uh, keeps it there and uh, therefore I don't have to directly pull it out whereas in this case I have to like pull it out like that which is uh, very basic and I put it inserted this had I known this was like this I wouldn't have purchased it because um, since I am will be you know uh, cleaning it every couple of ideally every after each shave but uh, uh, you know at least uh, once or twice a week this means I, I will be doing this multiple times and if I have to do this multiple times like this, chances are uh, this is going to this is going to uh, not last for a long time because it is going to like chip and once it chips and no longer stays on top of that, 
this is completely useless. So I am amazed that they have done it this way, which means even before using it, I cannot recommend this. So no brush or no cap are okay, but uh, I didn't realize that it was going to be without any mechanism like that. Um, and last but not least, uh, so I'm not going to actually use it right now, but let me see if I need to do anything before I turn this on. Important safety information. Uh, do not rinse, never immerse the cleanse or charging stand. Yes, charging. When you charge the shaver for the first time or after a long period of disuse, let it charge for at least 10 hours. Uh, a fully charged shaver provides up to 30 minutes of shaving time. So let me just turn this on and see if there's a charge. There is. There is, however, no indicator or whatsoever here. And because this is not a lithium ion battery, um, I believe uh, I have to only uh, fully charge and fully discharge it if I would like to get the most out of it. This has the uh, smart, not smart, actually stupid battery that has the memory, uh, which means if I uh, charge it um, uh, frequently, uh, then it might actually drop in, um, uh, you know, uh, in uh, total capacity. So that's it. Uh, this is, there was even a further cheaper option without this pop-up trimmer. I didn't want to purchase that. I purchased this one but I see that this is clearly inferior. Now, the head is, as you see, is fixed, but this is at this price level uh, is okay. I wasn't expecting this, but okay. The other thing is uh, even I cannot press the, the middle part. So in my, again, with the, um, I think with this, can I press this? No, but with my previous uh, Philips uh, Norelco, this part was flexible, like it would actually, uh, when I press it, it would uh, like these sides would flip up and the center would actually go down. This doesn't do that. So there I have it. Um, I wish I purchased something higher quality, uh, to be honest, uh, even with the same brand from the same brand and uh, costlier. But I didn't want to purchase much, uh, to spend much time. And that's one of the reasons is when I while I'm holding it, I can drop it, which happened. Uh, with my current machine and once I drop it for example I, I dropped it while I was trimming uh, my sideburns and uh, what I got was um, basically a, a faulty uh, pop-up trimmer so there it is uh, this is Aquatouch uh, Philips Aquatouch AT620 uh, initial impression and it's quite heavy by the way so it feels like this is a you know a solid machine and such but once you uh, look at all these shortcomings. Uh, yeah, it is very, <laughs> uh, it is uh, very inferior uh, to uh, my previous uh, Philips. So I wish I haven't, uh, you know, washed it under the uh, faucet, um, but it was doable. Even even on this manual, there is a picture of it showing that hey, you can actually hold this. Uh, in a sense underwater what happens is in that other uh, unit there was some sort of a hole at the at the bottom from which the water uh, could actually come out this doesn't have such a hole even so this thing and as you see it's showing shown uh, with an angle so that you are only supposed to you know hold it like this so that it doesn't directly maybe go through the entire unit and uh, I can't even, um, to be honest, uh, trust that. So I won't be using it, using it at all with any wet shaving and or uh, any uh, wet uh, cleaning whatsoever. Okay, so that's it uh, for the second part and, and the end of it uh, for this uh, unit. Not recommended, even without usage, I can say that.